As an artist, I feel like it's just my duty as a citizen of this planet <laughs> to deal with issues of environmental justice. I think it affects every single person on this planet. I'm more into doing murals and painting on walls, doing art that people don't have to choose to see, doing art that people have to see, even if they want to or not. We're very focused and interested in supporting local artists um, and supporting their art and their craft and two that we want to support local arts organizations um, and third to focus um, and bring arts to neighborhoods that uh, don't have a lot of um, public art and um, could use this as an opportunity to bring uh, community together. We also are very interested in making sure that the art that we're um, supporting has some kind of connection and tells the story about our water, power, and sewer services. I was specifically uh, asked by the Public Utilities Commission and the San Francisco Arts Commission to do a project um, in relationship to the storm drains to raise awareness of how how many toxins leach into sort of our water supply and into the bay through these drains that I think people tend to ignore. So in some ways I didn't have just a, a, a wide sort of array of do whatever you want. It was very specific. Like we want you to make art right around these drains so that the public will notice them again and think more uh, carefully about what they put near them. All of our projects are uh, advertised to um, the public and so that artists can apply and they're selected by a panel to create um, a design, one of the designs for the drain um, for, uh, mural. So I think her piece has a lot of the um, uh, aquatic life that is impacted by things that are thrown. What inspired me to come up with the images I did for the storm drain murals was really in some ways just a, a bigger extension of what many of us have already seen over the near storm drains for years where you'll see that tiny little stencil of a fish and it says drains to the bay. And I thought that those were always pretty simple and effective. I liked those to begin with, but I felt like there was like an emotional component that was missing from them. And so I liked the idea of getting to work big and do these large murals that actually had animals on them that were life-size, that were looking straight up out of the sidewalk into your eyes and giving you the sort of guilt trip stare. So I wanted to feel playful, but um, pointed. Um, and that was, that was definitely something that I was really interested in, in doing. So I, I would say that our relationship with the Arts Commission um, is to make sure that the resources that we're using and investing in the community that everybody can benefit from. Art that's made in the city technically is can be seen as urban art. You know, you don't have to go to a gallery or anywhere to see it. It's there. It's part of the wall. It's part of the neighborhood. It's just there, you know, and it's it, it turns into history. Art is a really important component in our built environment and in our, our, our lives in so many different ways. I feel like public art is the, one of the most important forms there is. I think that a huge portion of private art and fine art that's gallery and museum based is really incredible, but it's largely designed for the 1% or for people who come from a certain kind of educated elite. I, I love that stuff too, but I feel like when you can make work that's you know arguably more democratic, that's accessible to the public, that's free, that um, can start other kinds of conversations uh, with other kinds of communities, I think that's just so much more interesting.